It would have been nice to see them turn any of those reclamation slash young players into higher value trade pieces. Yeah. And I'm not so sure they did that, maybe with the exception of Moutier, but because of Moutier's contract situation, it's really tough to do much with him. Um, that, to me, was probably the biggest negative or disappointment. Yeah, even finally, I think we were hoping finally it could have turned into something. That I know we were we were hot after that Philly uh, second round pick, but we we weren't able to flip finally for anything. Uh, Hazonia really, you know, he came on maybe the last three four games, <laughs> rather than uh, you know yeah. much impact over the season. So I, I kind of agree with that. Um, JB or, or J Ellis, any other things you you would like to see? Or, or any other negative aspects of this season you like to uh, shed light on? There were some people here that was on a one-year deal that you was hoping, uh, mainly Mario. I feel like mainly Mario, I was hoping to see if he took a step or if he can grow. And he was kind of a head-scratcher for most of the year instead of like in, until like the end of the season. But, um, but I feel like we – I don't know there's a lot of other disappointments in my mind. It's like we came what we came to do. We developed – um, I know there might be some disappointment as, as far as the coaching, you know, somebody's playing game more minutes than the other. He prioritized offensive players instead of defensive players. Uh, but overall, it's just like we got the cast base we wanted. Um, we got Mitch. We got um, a Trier to look forward to. Knox seemed like he was knocking on the door. Those guys are going to be under contract. And it yeah. seems like for the most part, we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, I mean, the, the Mario thing, I don't know why I, I'm still, like, intrigued with this guy, man. I, on-ball Mario was was very intriguing to me, man. Very intriguing to me. I thought he he, he moved the ball well. Um, you know, yeah, he, he had as many turnovers as assists. And, and is, he's certainly a matador on defense a lot of times. But I don't know, man. This guy still intrigues me, even on a, on a vet minimum, if he chooses to, to take that and come back next year. Yeah, I wonder if they didn't choose to ship some of these guys away before just to see how cheap they can get them in their, in, in, uh, you know, if just in case some big name free agents do come and they yeah. say, Hey, well, do you want to come for like a million? And we're still in good standing because we didn't trade you away for, you know, a pick or something. I wonder if that was the thinking. Yeah. Um, Maybe. Macri, where are you at on that? I mean, I, I think it's going to be interesting. Um, what a lot of these guys, Mario, you know, Von Ley, Moody, a, um what they decide to do i i would bet that they had offers for all of those guys or maybe not moody but mario i think uh berman of the post reported that they had something on the table perhaps for him around the deadline um i, I would be absolutely floored if nobody made an offer for vonley and i think they made the calculated decision that they thought it was more important to keep guys here who wanted to be here yeah. uh, maybe because there haven't been that many of those types of guys mm -hmm. over the years. And now you finally got some guys who have bought in. Um, and I think that's an interesting decision. Um, we'll see if it ends up working out. My guess is that the most likely of those to, to, to do that would be Moody. Um, mm -hmm. I have to think, Someone's going to pay Vonley a few bucks yeah. um, this yeah. summer. And Mario, I, I, if I was another team, like a good team, um, I would take a chance on his own. Um, I would because I think we I, – I don't think what we saw at the end of the year is as real as we maybe wanted it to be. Right. But I don't, I don't think it's completely fake either. So Right. Yeah, that, that's what intrigues me. And, and I think given that it is low production all year round, I think um, – we don't know what his, what his market value really is and who's really interested. Yeah. And, you know, he, he seems to be all but begging to come back. So, you know, money talks, yeah. money talks at the end of the day. But, um, you know, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be against him on, on the vet minimum, you know. Third string point guard, Mario? Third string point yeah. guard. Well, I was going to say, the thing, I guess the reason I'm not as big on Mario as it sounds like you guys are is because, mm -hmm. one, he, he seems to need the ball in his hands to thrive. Yeah. So if you're on a good team where you have two or three options ahead of him, that are going to be high usage players. How is he going to have the ball in his hands? And then two, he doesn't play defense. Mm -hmm. So suddenly it's like, there's just a lot of minutes and we've seen he's been inconsistent, right? Yeah. So there's a lot of minutes where it's like, yeah, if he can, you know, kind of be your point forward, I, you know, I guess if you had the, the right guy, you know, if you were a team built on like star shooters and he could facilitate for them, but I just don't know if you're with a team that's has like a Kyrie type, 
And then obviously someone like a Durant, it's like, okay, well, where, where's Mario going to get these possessions where, you know, other than in transition, which just doesn't, you know, maybe, you know, if your defense is better, you get more transition opportunities, but I guess that would be my worry. Um, you know, I guess with him, but, um, you know, I agree. He has some potential still to realize. I just, I guess, like I said, on a team with other star players, I'd worry a little bit where he finds his spot to, you know, to thrive. Uh, absolutely.